So Makita Bodzikowski, pocket queens. It's going to limp. So a bunch of calls. Jen can get a free flop here of A7. So a set of queens for Bodzikowski and he checks. Romain has the nut straight draw. And a set of sixes for Devin Tang. This is a super action flop. Hundred and eighty thousand. Now if Devin raises, he's gonna be in big trouble because Bodzikowski is going nowhere. Steven just calls. He knows if he raises, it looks really strong. Now, Bozikowski, you see a bet and a call in front of you. I think he's going to raise. It just seems you don't want to be, you don't want to give two guys a chance to hit a straight out of position. Wow, he just calls here. I guess he doesn't want to play a huge bloated <coughs> pot. Right now, against a player that can cover him. Interesting. Turn card's at 8. It's a blank. The 8 literally doesn't change anything. It could possibly give someone some backdoor club draws, but no one has that. This pot is still going to be huge. <coughs> Romain sees a bet and a call in front of him, so he knows that someone probably has at least top pair. They actually both have a set. Romain is the chip leader, and he's going to fire again. He knows this looks insanely strong. It's immense pressure as there's several people with just one million chip stacks. <coughs> Devin, a set of sixes. He knows his opponent could have king-queen. It is possible to have queens and kings. No straight got there. Does he want to just call and play a river? Or does he want to go all in? If he does go all in, he kind of puts himself in a situation where he only gets called by worse. But then again, if he does go all in, he lets a straight draw potentially get there. So action is on deep and tang. Like he's gonna just call here. Wow, this is a huge pot. And Makita Bodzikowski, he doesn't think Devin Tang's gonna beat. The only hand he loses to is Pocket Kings. And that's if, if Romain didn't raise Pocket Kings pre flop. There is so much in the middle. There's 2,150,000. He knows one person is likely on a draw. It's hard for both players to have a made hand. If he just calls here, he gives that person a chance to hit. Makita also doesn't really want to bust against the chip leader too, so there's something crossing his mind as he noticed two players that has only a million chips remaining.
This is such a huge pot. And there's no raises yet. Just bets and calls. So Makita trying to think, should he shove? Should he just call? <coughs> Does he think someone would call with King Queen? Does he think someone could even have a set of sixes as most players don't play pocket sixes? He's out of position. When you're out of position, just calling gives your opponent the chance to play perfectly. Almost two minutes in the tank. He's going to go all in. They're just too much in the middle. It's three minutes. Romain knows that Badziakowski is not bluffing here. He actually has 31% equity. <coughs> He's going to lay down. Now, Devin here, this has got to be so annoying because he actually beats King Queen. He loses to Queens and Kings. Very possible for his Makita to have Queens and Kings. This is a limp pot from early position. There's two players of only a million chips on the final table with seven players remaining. And you can see he's not snap calling for a set of sixes because he knows that a set over set is very possible. He knows that Makita would not bluff here because of the way the hands played out. The thing that's crossing Devin's mind right now is that why didn't Makita bet the flop with a set of queens and kings? Why didn't he check raise the flop when there was a bet and a call? This is, this is such an insane bot. So Devin in the tank, rightfully so. If he calls and is wrong, he's going to be eliminated from the tournament before two guys with a million chips left with huge pay jumps. I think this would be the sickest laydown so far. If he can do it. He makes the call. He's got out. Set of sixes, I think. Oh man, one out remaining 4% chance. The biggest pot of the tournament, 7,555,000 in the middle. Lots of respect to him for even considering it. Yeah. I think the line makes him think, oh, I just got a call because he didn't check I raise did the flop. I did not hold a six. The dream is alive. One more card to go. Me neither. There's four. Maybe you would hold a six. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? The? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. I wasn't kidding. Did you see Steven? Really Steven wasn't even looking. He just says, oh. That has to be oh, the most one insane hands. Outer. <laughs> Short deck. Wow. Huh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Everyone's shocked? I'm shocked too. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking out. <laughs> really? My heart stopped. You just gotta believe. Playing for $1.26 million. Dollars. You know, like once I heard, Believing didn't there seem is two dead cards. There he is didn't two believe at all. <laughs> well, I don't know. I made it very clear that I did not fold a six. Huh? And that it was going to come. Yeah, and then you told him he got there. He didn't mm. believe Yeah, he didn't. He was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually <laughs> great. Oh, my God. Like he three, took off his microphone. Six, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. And I looked at you and said, you did it. 2.5, 2.6. Yeah, and then he went, oh. What a massive blow to Makita Bajakowski. Steven is not eliminated. He could have got some massive pay jumps. It meant the most important thing. One million. Two million. Wow, wow, wow. 7.5 million pot. Biggest pot of the tournament. Legendary. Three. 
A one-outer. He had 4% remaining going to the river. I mean, in a game where everybody always seems to have 40% and everything, that's incredible.